Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial for Portal, the Master Comp Sync Engine. In this video I'll show you how to use Portal to stay in sync and in context whilst working in your pre-comps. So I have this little demo here and as an example what I am looking to do is uh, have the numbers appear as each eye opens. Now I have one comp over here for the eyes and then I have one comp here for the numbers. Now there's a various number of reasons why you'd want that, but um, if you're using After Effects, you probably know that pre-comps are often necessary and are quite useful a lot of the time. So in this example, if you wanted to have the numbers appear as the eyes blink, traditionally what you might have to do is come to your master comp, find the spot where the eye opens, then go into your pre-comp, and you might go to this one, and then go to there, then you might go back and find where the third eye opens, about there, then you open up your pre-comp again, and you know, there's a lot of back and forth. And what Portal does is it streamlines all of that process and allows you to see that master comp whilst working inside of a pre-comp. So, um, let me just turn off that. So uh, what you have here is Portal. You can select Refresh if you need this uh, list to be updated. You select your master comp and click Insert Portal. And that is it. You now have an exact replication of your, or a smart proxy of your um, master comp perfectly in line. So if you look over here, it's at five seconds and one frame. If you go to your master comp, this scene begins at five seconds and one frame. So um, you go into your comp that you're working on and you can now see live where everything happens. So you look for the second eye opening, which is here. Number two, put it in line. Number three opens here. And you put that in line. And there you go. You're fully in sync in your pre-comp. Another use for this is let's say that you want this text to also have um, the same color as the eye. You can then, you know, you have access to the colors and then you can use your eyedropper to um, uh, make sure everything is the right uh, hex code. And this is a huge time saver, as I'm sure many of you will understand. Um, now, uh, because this is a smart proxy that's being created, Let's say you wanted to um, let's hide the first animation and you decided, well, actually I want the background for this to be this dark color. So let's move both of these um, pre-comps over here. Now, if you then go into your number animation, you will notice the colors are not updated yet. That's because of all of this information is being pulled from the smart proxy. So you need to update your smart proxy. And all you have to do for that is click insert portal again and bam, you are now up to date. You can see the up to date master comp and everything is perfectly aligned and in sync. Um, let's say you update your master comp. So for whatever reason, you want this circle to appear in the middle of your master comp. Well, let's go back to your pre comp. Again, just click insert portal. It is updated everything. That circle is back in there. Um, so let's uh, show you one of the, well, two of the limitations to uh, Portal, which um, due to After Effects being After Effects, you can't really get around. So what we're going to do is put that one back there, and we're going to open up this animation. So this animation here has um, a, a portal sliding along and the text appearing, and then you have another pre-comp, and there we go. Now you think, well, I want to animate this whilst uh, seeing the master comp, so you can insert a portal. A portal created. Oh, and hang on, let me put that back. It would be set to normal. As um, You would see this, which is you can't see the master comp, but as you guessed it, um, there is a way around this in that you can set that. Um, so for this, this text effect to work, it needs... Uh, a background, so you might have to set that background to something like screen, and that allows you to at least see the um, uh, the portal. Um, also, because this particular pre-comp has adjustment layers, um, 
you, the adjustment layer will apply to everything below it. So um, you might have to turn those adjustment layers off. That helps, but it still it, it allows you a whole much whole bunch more context than you would normally get from um, just working in precomps. So you just have to remember to turn those back on. Um, another potential um, limitation with Portal is that um, let's say we turn this random circle back on. And then we go back into this pre-comp and we update our portal just by re-importing it. You can see that circle is now behind, whereas in the master comp, it's in front. So the way the portal works is it creates a smart proxy, duplicating everything, labeling everything correctly, and adding time remap expressions. Um, but the layer stack is baked in. So this is a pre-comp which is within the proxy, um, the, the portal proxy, which so it goes at the bottom of the stack, and this text will have to be in front of it. But again, slight limitation, but it's better to work with this than to be utterly blind and to have no context at all with what you're working with. So um, with that in mind, uh, that is a portal, um, how to use it, a couple of the limitations, but overall I think it really, really helps you speed up your workflow. I make a lot of lyric videos and stuff like that where I want you know the lyric animation to be on one comp and then the video animation to be on another, and I've spent hours and hours and hours of my life flicking back and forth, making sure effects work, making sure colors work, making sure sizing work, making sure alignment works. Um, and so that's why I created Portal, so that I could be working inside of a pre-comp whilst being confident that it works within the master, within the overall animation that I'm making. Um, so yeah, that is Portal, the master comp sync engine.